That's our truck. Oh. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> Coming here like they own the place. <laughs> All right. So we're just this. this is just the back of your barbecue. Absolutely nothing to do here. All right. So you don't have to drain it or anything. No. Okay. I mean, if you're storing it. Okay, but, but yeah, I know. Store it for that long. This is where you hook up your water. Okay. All right, the city water. So you have the park, you hook it up here. Okay. All right. This is just for winterizing the unit if you ever have to do that, which you probably won't. No. This is where you fill up your reserve tank or your fresh water tank I told you about. Okay. You turn it, stick a water hose in there, let it run, then go inside and periodically press the button so it's to the level you want it to. Okay. All right. So that's how you fill it. There's a way to drain it, right? So if you want to drain it, it's actually a valve over here. Okay. You can see fresh water drain. Come up under here, turn this valve, it'll start draining all that water out. Okay. All right. Where's that? Come back over here. Uh, apparently, you got all the storage in here as well. Oh, you got one of the bins. You pull this puppy all the way out. Look mm -hmm. at all the goodies. You can actually take it completely out. Okay. Watch. Oh. And then back here. Look, there's your water filter where you change it. You take one, two, looks like three screws out, remove okay. this panel or push it forward. And okay. if you look, there's the canister right there where you water Got out. it. I see okay. it. Yep. Okay. So that's cool. where you change your water filter here. Awesome. Here's your power cord. Okay. Yes, sir. Over here is your gas line for your grill. Okay. Where you hook to the grill and then to the unit. And I'll show you how that goes here. Yeah, I was going to say, I would need help. No worries. Here's a little crank handle for your stabilizer jacks, a standard three quarter inch socket. Okay. You got a cordless drill, get you a three quarter inch socket, it'll be a lot easier. Yep, already in the truck. Awesome. Here's that crank for the slide override I was telling you about, right. the really long one for the hole. Okay. All right. So in case your slide were to fail on the out position, you can still crank it in and get home. Okay. You have another crank in here that works for your power tongue jack. Should it ever fail, there's a little plug that you remove on the top, stick this in there, and then you can manually crank it. Okay. Here's just the bags where you can put whatever you want in there. Here is a Forest River spatula, which is engraved with their emblem, and then you got the bottle opener on the other side. <laughs> Most important part, right? Yeah. And this is just an end table that you can mount next to the grill, so you can have a, you know, a surface to work on. Okay. And I'll show you how the grill goes, and that'll go the same way as the grill. All right? I'll just put this back in there. And then, of course, you got to situate this however you want it later. Right. Spare tires hood up to 65 psi. There's one of your jacks there. Oh, and these bumpers are hollow. Right. You pull that plug out and you can store your sewer hose in there. Okay. All right, so it's not stinking inside the unit. You have an optional backup camera in the future if you choose to install one of those. Okay. You've got an access ladder so you can go up there every 60 to 90 days, check all the caulking, check all the seals, make sure there's no cracks, separation, things like that. 60 to 90 days. Oh, goody. Also, depending on where you're parked, you know, I don't know if it's going to be sitting out in the sun all day or not. Probably. You know what I yeah, mean? It will be. So this is just a cable satellite. Okay. So that's the main feed. If the park offers it, you plug it in there and it'll feed to the rest of the outlet. Why are there two? Satellite and cable. I got you. Okay. So whichever, however, some people have their own satellite dishes they take with them. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is where you plug in 30 in. It's your red one that's already in there. Okay. The old one that we use. Um, I already showed you the water drain. Again, the tires are 65. The lugs we torque to 100 foot pounds. Um, awning topper was uh, installed. Yep. Oh, and here's your dump section. Just watch your step. Yep. <clears throat> so these are color coded. Ooh, the black's actually open. So I flushed the toilet, so that means the water should come out a little bit. No? Okay, cool. Huh, I did flush the toilet, didn't I? Mm hmm. Let's see here. Oh, I see moisture here. It must have just came right out because this was cracked open. Yeah, it did. Okay. Because this was cracked open, you seen it? it yeah. Kind of cracked open. Yeah. So it, it didn't out. push the cap off, but it definitely no. flowed out. Yeah, it came out. Okay. So I'll close that. Okay. Close that. This is gray. That's black. Oh, so they're together. Yeah, What's they the meet. One on well, the they, other side? they meet. Yeah. Oh, you do have two grays, don't you? I don't know. I forgot you had an outside kitchen. No, oh, no, that doesn't have a sink. Hmm. That's interesting. I guess you got two gray tanks. 
One must be for the sink and shower, and the, and the sink and shower, and then one's the galley. For the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Only question is because when we saw them on the video where there were two, mm -hmm. I thought this was black and that was gray, right, and then you would right. have to move the yeah, black water no. hose over to the gray to flush it. Yeah, I thought so. I don't want to do that. So this is the bathroom gray. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a little tip: do the toilet water sure, first. Sure. Sure. That's what I was saying. And the gray. Yeah. Yeah, because it'll help <laughs> rinse out wanna, the hose. I don't want to move know what that. The hose. The depth? Oh, about five feet. Is it really that deep? Let me see how long. I would say it's more like four. Yeah, that's probably four foot or so. Three or four foot. Yeah. It's more than three, half of you. I'm going to go with three, like three, five. Three six. Let's three, say six. three six. Look at that. Three foot, three inches. Woo, okay. You're close. Awesome. Thank you. We, we're trying to figure out if it's going to fit in the backyard. <laughs> okay, right. so that's the wastewater holding and yeah. the sewer outlet connection. Excellent. Yep, like oh, it says galley. Yeah, it sure it does. Outside shower and you have the water hose, which is Great. pretty cool. You okay. pull that out where it's just like the inside shower, hot and cold. You have a little mounting system right there. Right. Shut the battery off, which is over here. So this is pointed up, it's labeled on and then off. If I go to there, down, I can actually pull the key out, now it's off. Turn it back on, it's on oh, the up the position. Oh, the nubby side is on. Okay, okay. I got you. Okay. That's important because, okay. like I said, that'll drain your battery if it's stored away for a week or so. Right, and okay. You don't mess with it, all right? Does it have two batteries or just two battery cases? Just two battery cases. Okay, well, that's nice. Oh, this opened up again. Oh, yeah, I was doing something. <laughs> Squirrel. Don't have a lot. 
um, your regulator. Okay, you see how the arrow's pointed to this tank? Okay. So it feeds off of one tank at a time. So let's say, for example, this one's already open. Say that empties out. Obviously, you'll know it because your stove will stop working, right? Okay. When you come out here, you'll notice that this is red, all right? If that's red, you know this is empty. So we would close this tank up. Close that, and then I'll switch this arrow, point it to the other side, and I'll open that one up, and it'll flip back to green, showing that it's pressurized. Okay. All right. So basically, it feeds off of one tank at a time. Right. Okay. So They're both closed open. right now, right? They are now. Okay. Tight. All right. And here's that little cap that you remove. So you can hand crank it if you ever needed to do that. Right. Okay. Now, and then you got a light here if you needed to, and then of course you're up and down. Okay. There's a switch right here um, awning lights. Turn it off. Yeah, okay, it's off. And then the porch lights are on, the orange, the orange one. He, he, he has a lot of words, but he can't make any sentences.